Welcome back to day three of Vlogmas. Um, today I'm going to be doing my prep and application routine. We're going to start out with this 240 Melody Susie, Melody Susie sanding band bit. Um, we're using 240. We don't want to use something like 80 or even like a 120 because I feel like it is too rough for the natural nail. So we're using this um, sanding band on the nail just to take the shine off. So if the nail had ridges or anything like that, for the example, we're not trying to smooth their nail out because that will really damage their nail in the long run. We're literally just trying to take the shine off so um, the nails will adhere and the acrylic will adhere to the nails properly. So after I do this, um, I am going to go in with my dehydrator. I actually, um, originally I did use the Savvy Land one, but at this point I literally just used the bottle and mix 50% mix acetone and 50% alcohol. And I think it works better. Like it just, I feel like, um, it improved my application quite a bit. Um, for my primer, I used the no lift primer. Um, it's about $15. It's not that expensive. Um, for glue, I am using the KDS glue. Um, I think it works really well, honestly. Um, I think any glue will work if you're like... I don't think it's a big investment. For 10 bottles of glue, you can get... Um, like, I think you get... For $5, you can get 10 bottles of glue. So that's pretty good, if you ask me. And on top of that, if you're um, in the Phoenix area, we actually have the... It's a nail shop. Um, it's called N5. And I think there's one called N92, but I don't think I've been to that one. Um, but they have them for $1 each if you're like, I don't know, if you were to spend a little bit less and just needed a bottle of glue on hand. But I do feel like, don't use their bottle pair of, I bought it from them. And it is MMA, so if you go to that nail salon and you're in a local area, don't buy their bottle pair. But jumping into application, we are using the Medium Pink by DNT, and we're using DNT Monomer. They are my favorite brand. I 100% recommend them. Um, for this, I am using, like, around two beads. Um, I honestly don't worry a little, like, too much about how many beads I'm using. I more just try to get the application good. But with this one, I am using one bead for overall and then one um, around the cuticle area and to seal the cuticle. So we're just using two beads right here. Um... I think that doing short nails, it's a little bit easy. I don't know. Actually, I feel like it's compelling. Like, it's complicated almost because I feel like it's easier because it's less acrylic that you have to use and it's less to worry about, like, the smoothness and all. But it's also harder because I feel like a lot of beginners struggle with, like, you know, it's less room for mistakes also. So I feel like it's a little, you know, it's an argument on both sides there. But for this application, it was quite easy for me. Um, this whole set took me about an hour or an hour and a half. So I love doing short nails for that reason. Um, my little sister, she does sports. So that's who I'm doing these nails all today. So it just kind of made sense to um, to do short nails for her because, yeah, I am adding a little bit of acetone into my monomer because it's just that time of the year. Um, if like if I had to go back, because I actually have my video, my first video of me doing nails, and I look back today and it's horrible, <laughs> of course, but... Um, I would 100% recommend getting like a, um, just like a practice hand or a practice finger and just practicing your application because for a long time, I thought that didn't matter and make sure you invest in your prep routine. Cause I swear to God, I saw everyone talking about it being like, Oh, you need this. You need that. I was like, girl, I'm not going to spend all that on that. I would just get the cheap little Timu brand. And since I've been using new brands, it's 100% helped my application. So listen to all those girls. They're not saying it just cause they want you to spend the money. It makes sense. It just does. So, yeah, I would 100% like say do that. I've said that so many times. Like, take a shot every time I say 100% at this point. But here is kind of how it um looks. I'm doing the thumb application right here. For shaping, for short nails, I actually don't hand file that much, especially if my application turns out pretty good. Um, I just take my, I'm still using my, um, What's the word? Okay, I'm still using my sanding band, but instead of using the 240 grit, I'm using my 80 grit now. So it's basically just like shaping the nail, except I just feel like 
that it touches the skin too much when I'm using a hair file. I'm usually like strictly hair file, but I think that using like for very short nails like these is better to just use your sanding band. So that's what I would recommend. But we're getting to the end of this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you come along for all the rest of this video. We're gonna be doing nail videos and lifestyle videos together. So I feel like it's gonna be very fun, very cute. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you literally tomorrow. Bye. Take you farther than Mexico. Yeah, yeah. You still got niggas hard pressed for you, though. I know yeah. you, Charlie.